Welcome back to the Bumper Breakfast. I have uh, Shogo Israel. It's a Jikule Olorun Shogo Israel, a politician, is a youth, uh, wanting to uh, vie for position in Agege constituency uh, this morning with me on the Bumper Breakfast. Good to have you here. Good morning. It's my pleasure. And I'm morning. going to charge you for the delay. <laughs> but good to have you. Good, good to have you. All right, let's talk strictly about young people and their role and involvement in politics. I want to talk to Shugo a little bit because I want to find out exactly from your perspective as a youth what has stopped young people from entering into the fold. Um, thank you very much. Good morning. Um, I think young people are being discouraged because the community, the economy is not enabling, the, okay. the system of governance we have is not enabling for the youth. And I feel uh, it's only the old people that can be in governance. Do you think we have the perception? Do you think most of the young people also have the perception that it's only the old people? Yeah, this is what the community has made us believe because uh, they always tell us politics is a dirty game and mm -hmm. it's not meant for youth, it's meant for the old ones. So mm. I think most people are being drawn back. From is it money? Uh, because the, then the issue of uh, um, how much they sell the farms and all that, and uh, quite a number of political parties did say they've crushed the price for younger people. Um, is that really an, an encouragement okay, to change the narrative you just painted? Mm. Money also is. Um, is part of the reasons why youths are, are not into politics. Um, and even though they crash the price down, mm -hmm. it's, still, it's still not kind of affordable for some, for some youths looking at the situation of the economy. It's not affordable. How, no. did, we, how did youth fund answers? Yeah. Are you saying that youths cannot support youths? Yeah, we can. To buy the fund? We can. I think... Okay. I think the narrative is being changed now because we have more youths in the race at the moment. Who can afford it? People didn't buy phones for them. Am I correct? Someone like me, um, it was support of my friends and families. Okay, that, that put together the phones? Yes, for okay, me. Okay, so, okay, okay. So I believe it's the same thing in other camps too. Hmm. I like the fact that you say you believe it's the same thing in other camps. But then if money to buy the farm now becomes a something that everybody comes together to do, what about money to run the campaign? And what are the real chances of the youth actually clinching the tickets? Because, for, for example, the primaries are coming up. What are your plans? Let, let me delve into your plan, for example, to make sure the delegates vote for you. Um, my plans are to preach to the delegates, tell them my manifesto, and hope that they will vote for me. Does that work in this generation? How many young people are on the list of delegates that will listen to you? Well, I feel um, the delegates, most of the people now, want a better Nigeria. They want mm. to change the narratives for the generation coming behind. So I think they will not make the same mistake they used to in the past. So we are open and I have a strong belief that they will do the right thing. Okay. I like the word that we are open. Okay, we're talking about youths and uh, their participation in politics. And quite a number of young people have been said that they would rather get the money now from the politician than listen to the words from their fellow youth. It, which means uh, we are as uh, much of a corporate as the older ones. What is the real difference between the youth and the older ones, especially those who are political animals? Is there really a difference? From that angle, we have, uh, we have the bad youth, we have the good youth. We have the, the few good old ones too, and we have the bad old ones. So um, the narrative is changing, like I said, and the influence of the good youth I believe will overcome the bad ones because we have so many issues on ground like the ASU strike. So any reasonable youth will not want to go for money because mm -hmm. if, you, if you get money and um, the next four years they don't remember you, they come back after four years I and, give you some more money. and give you some more money. I think any reasonable youth who is um, future driven will not, will not go for this 
for this option mm. of taking money from them. They can take the money, yes, but I think it is um, it is best to vote the right person. Mm. Take the money from them. But but vote, vote the, the right, right person. person. Yes. He said, take the money from them, but vote the right person. Let's look into the personality of Shogo Green. Who are you as a person? Um, if you would describe yourself in, say, five words, who are you? Well, um, I'm a youth. I'm an entrepreneur. Okay. A community person. Okay. A team player. Mm. And... A believer in a believer in dreams. Hmm. A believer in this. Let's talk about you being a community person. What do you currently do? Because another thing they do say about youth is, oh, they just come from the back. They just come from nowhere, and then they say they want to come and contest for election. Mm -hmm. What have you been doing in your community? Well, um, I was born in Nuri Agege, um three decades back, and. Growing up, I have seen the challenges of my people because I'm part of the people. Do you still live there? Yes, I live there. I still live there. Okay. So, in 2018, I researched into the community to know what they are actually facing. And I discovered we have issues of teenage pregnancies, we have issues of domestic violence, and teenage pregnancies were as a result of rape. So mm -hmm. being an entertainer, I looked at how we can correct mm -hmm. uh, the lapses. So I used um, sports and music to bring the community together. So I tagged the campaign, um, a campaign against domestic violence and rape. So in 2018, we were able to sensitize the young Basically advocacy. Girls, yes, advocacy for young girls and the older women to to let them know how to report cases of domestic violence mm. how to avoid it and how to be safe so we introduce um, an application to them it's called Seclot. the application lets you um, add five persons on that mm. application so whenever you are somewhere you don't need to log in you just need to tap your phone screen twice and it sends the location of wherever you are if you are in danger the five persons can know where you are Good and time. they can know what to do report to the right authorities so it was a successful one then mm -hmm. and um, in 2019 i thought about how to bring the community together so we we started um, green work mm -hmm. i believe if the community are united as one we'll be able to share our pains and share whatever we do between each other and mm -hmm. say okay i do this kind of business you patronize me mm -hmm. i'm going through this at home how, how do you assist me and all that so green work brings the community together we we start working from a point we walk through the areas we we go from house to house mm. and send um positive messages to the households and we do that every october 1st to celebrate independence independence day, day. so um, at really a gig at a really something, something that they do in america <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. really. so in we, we we do that every year since 2019 wow. then in 2020 the covid 19 disaster started so i was like how do how do we assist people because during covid 19 a lot of people lost their jobs yes so we said um let's bring the women together especially the women and the youths so we focused on the women because the men were still trying to make a living but we were like, how do we support the single mothers and how do we even help the family to maintain the balance? So we started a foundation called Green Nigeria Movement. Hmm. With Green Nigeria Movement, we were able to um, provide new skills, okay. teach, um, empower the women. We, we, we taught some how to make soap, how to make clothes, how to make airs so and photography, empowerment. empowerment. And um, hmm. I'm trying to measure, really, Shigo. I'm trying to measure what you've done in your community between um, before you know you came up with this yeah. aspiration. I know that we, we our time is fast spent and we may not be able to talk so much. But um, Shigo is uh, varying for the position 
of uh, House of Assembly, yes. Michael Wright, and Nagege constituency too. And we look forward to uh, having you again so we can delve into your manifesto and a little bit of what you intend to do. But we wish you all the best. Thank you very much. In your primaries. I want to celebrate um, a particular uh, NSCDC official. I want to celebrate uh, Deputy Superintendent of CORE, DSC, Olu Omiri, Anti Vandals Unit, Lagos State Command of the NSC, DC, that's the Nigeria Civil Defense uh, uh, Course, uh, Nigeria Civil Defense, uh, am I correct? Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, call. Uh, this is coming courtesy MC Rio. He did say we should say happy birthday uh, to you. Thank you for all you do for the society. DSC, Olu Omiri, happy birthday, sir. And while we are celebrating,